definitely something that I get from students a lot is like, it's not, not, not fair, but it's like, why do they have to word this stuff so weirdly? Like, why can't they just be so it's intentional. More transparent. It's like, why do they have to do this to us? Like, a lot of students mm. are like, but why couldn't they just word it like more basic? Mm. Like, why did they have to be weird about it? Do they want us to fail? Like, are they trying to trip us up and trick us up? So mm. I think it's a very important thing to discuss or to, to, to kind of indicate is like, why couldn't they be more simple about it? Like, why do they do it this way? I think, and I think it's so important for students to understand that. And I think, I mean, if I just draw from my own experience as, as a consultant, someone's going to come to me with, with a problem. Sometimes they don't even understand the nature of their problem in, in the necessary detail, right? They're just like, uh, um, we, we've got an issue. We're concerned that, that we're not compliant. Yeah, yeah, right, right. Um, we don't know how, we don't know why, we don't know where. Tell me, am I, am I not? And, and, and it's, they, there's no structure in the, what the scope of the work is that they've asked me to do. Mm. I just want to know, am I compliant or not, right? But they could say, uh, you know, I don't know if I'm compliant in terms of the way that I'm accounting for revenue, for example. Mm. So then, then it's up to me to go to the standard and break that down into the various components. Compliant could be in terms of reporting requirements, in terms of disclosures. It could be in terms of measurements. It could be millions of different things. It could have implications in terms of tax, right? I'm the one that's expected so, to figure this out. Absolutely. I'm not waiting for my as a, clients as a professional, to say, yeah. I mean, if they, they are paying you in essence to, they've identified the problem Solve it. That's what I'm going to pay you to do. Solve it. Use what you yeah, have at, yeah. at your disposal based on your experience and your skills to, to, to let me know whether we have an issue here or not. Yeah. Yeah. I, I totally agree. And I think it's, it's so important to realize that um, the reason the stuff is structured and worded this way is because as a professional, you need to be able to break problems down and you need to be able to identify what the actual problem is from various types of discussions. And exactly as you say, your client doesn't come in with a beautiful structure and going, okay, you know, um, I want, you know, a quarter of your discussion to be about tax implications and a quarter of it to be about, uh, you know, this and a quarter and a quarter. Your client's going to come in and go, something broke. Yeah. <laughs> Not yeah. sure what it is. Or, and that's the thing. They often yeah, don't know the 100%. detail. They don't. They're just like, something doesn't seem to be working. Mm -hmm. um, and in reality, you know, I know our students complain about integration. I totally understand why. But in reality, they're expecting you to be, okay, let me tell you about the accounting and the operational and the, um, the you know, how the auditors would see it and the tax implications and how this affects your cash flow, you know, so, so your client's expecting you to have this holistic, like this is everything yeah. that this thing is going to impact. So it's not as though your client's going to come in and go, you know, can you tell me about like IFRS, you know, IFRS 5? Um, they don't know IFRS 5. You know, they're just bringing you this piece of paper and go, I signed this contract and I don't know what to do with it. Yeah. <laughs> like, I would really like, oh, we've been deducting the whole lot um, for tax purposes because, you know, that makes our tax lower. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And your job is like uh, accounting and then the tax implications and blah, 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 fish base, fine. So when I, as a professional, when I give my junior clerk instructions, I'm Absolutely. the one breaking it down nice and simple because I know that they're not able to do that. I know that they don't have the skill to do that. So I'm like the intermediary who takes the Absolutely. crap from my client, pulls it apart. Okay, this is what we need to do. When I, you know, when I instruct my junior, I'm going to give him nice instructions that say, number one, uh, please, I want you to go and take each of these eight you know, transactions and I want you to calculate what they should be and, and fix the errors. And then after you've done that, I want you to go and pull up these calculations here. And I want you to fix these calculations with what you've done there. Mm -hmm. So I think the difference, you know, when students are like, oh, why couldn't you phrase it that way? That, that's because that's what a junior accountant would be expecting. Yeah. 
you know, that's what a junior would be expecting is like, I can't think for myself. Yeah. I can't assess. I can't use my profession. You have to tell me what to do. You have to tell me and give me specific instructions. So I realize that it's difficult. I realize that, um, you know, that, it, that it's a higher level of expectation, but I think it's really important to understand why. The reality is they're going in as a professional, you need to develop the skills of taking situations and identifying problems and then interpreting what you need to do in order to fix those problems. This is, this is your future. This is your what future. you're doing. This is, this yeah. is what I do. Yeah. And it's, it's exactly, messy. 100%. It's and so it's not, messy. It's not, we're not saying this is easy. No. But I think once you understand the purpose and once you can get away from like, oh, I really hope that the question is phrased nicely. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you're expecting a lottery. You know, like, oh, I really hope it's phrased nice. It's not going to be, but that's okay. Because if you understand what you're working towards and, and you're building your skills of being able to break it down, what you're looking for, then it starts becoming more doable. 